Hello everyone and uh, welcome to the uh, latest player interview for Deerham Town this year. Today we've got Chris Skipper, who's also our skipper, and Geordie Lake with us. Guys, thanks very much for joining us uh, and volunteering to do this interview. Like always, we always say that um, uh, we've had a lot of player changes over the last couple of years, so uh, people who haven't been, who are casual supporters, who probably don't know to put a face to a name, this is a good opportunity for them and a good opportunity for you to let everyone know about yourselves as well. So starting off, uh, Chris, um, nicknames or what do the fans call you? Uh, so I, I get called a lot of names, to be honest. Okay. Um, so Skipper, Skip, Rizzo um, is one that I've not really been able to shake off from a young age. Um, I would tell you the story, but unfortunately it takes away from the, the beauty of the nickname. <laughs> uh, it's just not a great story. Um, but yeah, they're the three main ones. Okay, we'll stick with Rizzo then. Yeah, we'll go with Rizzo. All right, then, mate. Geordie? Um, yeah, George. People call me Jord, obviously, Jordan, uh, Geordie, Lake, Lakey, whatever. Just whatever we can yeah, think of. Yeah, whatever name you want to choose. I've been calling it <laughs> worse and worse. <laughs> you know. Well, at least no one will have a problem addressing you when we're around the grounds yeah. this, uh, this season anyway. So for people who don't know you, um, what positions do you play and how do you like to play the game, Chris, first? Uh, so centre-back, um, I kind of like to say that I defend first. Um, I look to try and play simple um, unless I get carried away. Um, but yeah, the main thing is really kind of head, tackle, <laughs> defend first, <laughs> try and keep them out first, um, and then think to kind of build attacks from, from centre half, look to try and step in. Um, kind of the last sort of few seasons I've liked to add and contribute to the goal tally. Um, not done that yet, but it's still early doors. I'm looking to obviously contribute a few more goals um, to obviously help us, help us win some games. So historically, we haven't always had um, a lot of first choice centre halves at Deerham. We've had... Uh, people filling in quite a lot. Uh, this year, however, we've got you, we've got Sam, we've got Andy as well, we've got other people like Ben and Mac who can fit in. Do you find, even despite the fact that you're the captain, do you find uh, that competition for places a good thing? Yeah, of course it is, yes. Yeah, competition for places is always a good thing, um, especially if we're looking to achieve what we're hoping to, finish at the, uh, the top side of the table this year, um, obviously striving for promotion. Um, you need that competition for places. Um, brings the best out of players, um, it, it stops players getting comfy. Um, obviously the last few games, uh, look to obviously have a good relationship with Watto, uh, obviously with his teeth falling out <laughs> at Fakenham. I'm now considered the most attractive centre half in the club, which is brilliant. Really? Yeah. Well, we'll let Andy Easto and Ben know as well. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and George, Geordie, Lakey? Um, yeah, play centre midfield. Uh, Try my best to run around, win headers, win tackles like everyone else. Um, probably do more for the team off the field than I ever have on the <laughs> field. Um, but yeah, get on the ball, move it, chip in with a goal and assist now and then. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, that's basically. Do you it. see yourself more as a, a defensive-minded midfielder, or do you, or a literal holding player, or do you see yourself yeah. having your best attributes going forward? I don't know really. Um, I'd like to think I'm quite well-rounded. Um, I wouldn't say I'm better at defending than I am attacking. I wouldn't say I'm better at attacking than I am defending. Mm -hmm. I'd just like to think that, you know, I'm just a well-rounded blunt sword, you know what I mean? <laughs> just can hack as well as it can slice through things. <laughs> so for both of you, obviously centre midfield, centre half. Um, nowadays, the way football's moved on, like 20 years ago when I started watching non-league, you, you were a centre half and that's all you did. You were a centre midfielder and that's all you did. Mm -hmm. Everyone played 4-4-2. Now, nowadays, it's... You have to be more of a, a more rounded footballer, don't you? You have to be able to fill in in different positions and that sort of thing. So, is there any other positions that you've? Because you played it, but it's right back, I think, for a little bit, <laughs> haven't you? This season, so. first game was right back. Went well, uh, didn't it? You got it. Went well, didn't it? <laughs> <laughs> no, I think I'm old fashioned. I think yeah. I'm centre half. Um, yeah, I think I've uh, from a young age I started as a striker. Mm -hmm. um, got to know Toast at the age of 30 and I've gradually worked my way back to centre yeah. half. Um, and I don't think I'm moving from there, to be honest. Oh, okay, fair enough. And like, did you, did you, would, are you happy uh, dropping back or are you more, you know, if you have to play a defensive midfield role? Or? Um, anyway, get me on the field, really. I'll, yeah. do, <laughs> I'll do anything, I'll play anywhere. Um, play centre midfield, obviously, at the minute, next to Mac. Love playing next to Mac. Mm -hmm. He's quality, he's a good lad. Um, Juji at the minute. So, um, yeah, you know, watching him bounce between positions isn't something, uh, well, I feel like everyone in the team needs to be somewhat flexible. Yeah. We need to be able to adapt. Obviously, unavailability happens now and then. And, you know, people got to step into positions they're not comfortable with. I'd be prepared to play anywhere. Mm -hmm. I just find myself in midfield every week. So, 
But like you say, partnerships are, it'll be the same for centre half. Partnerships in football are a massive thing, aren't they? So you've obviously struck up a good relationship with Mac G and, and the same we played with Andy and Sam, but I think, you know, Sam would, and you would be the, you know, the first choice, wouldn't you, um, centre halves at the moment. Um, is that important, uh, especially at centre half? To yeah, I think, I think it's, it's relationships all over the pitch. Yeah. Um, I think we have to understand that on Tuesday night, the 11 players that started weren't here last yeah. year. Yeah. Um, so we are obviously developing. Um, we know things aren't going to be really smooth to start with, and it hasn't. You know, there's been spells this year where, you know, we've shown what we're about. Um, and there have been little blips where, you know, we are a new team. We do have to, we can't be naive to say that we're going to, uh, it's going to be smooth sailing every single game. Mm -hmm. um, but as the games go on, we'll look to build them relationships. It's not just centre half, it's not just midfield, it's, it's relationships with everyone. Um, and it's, it's gelling together as a team, which I think as the season moves forwards, I think that's only going to get stronger. Are you particularly um, comfortable as a right sided or left sided centre half, or are you not too bothered? I mean, or, and how have you fitted that in with Andy and Sam? Yeah, I mean, kind of previous years I've always kind of played on the right side. Um, you know, it's, it's a toss up between me and what is left foot. Um, at the minute, I'm on the left side. Um, but yeah, like I say, as long as I'm playing, as long as you know, we're winning games, you know, I'm happy wherever I play. Midfield, you can afford to be a little bit more fluid, can't you? Because um, you're not only going e either the right side or the left side. You can go, you can go that way. You, yeah. One could go forward, one could go back. Is that something that you, you've struck up well with Mac? At the moment? Yeah, I mean, when you play centre midfield, you're connected to everyone on the field, aren't you? There's your shoulder width apart. So, um, you know, it's, it, we talk about relationships and how we develop relationships. They're not just make, built and created on the pitch. They're made in the bar afterwards. Mm -hmm. They're made just through conversation. Um, so now, yeah, obviously playing next to Mac, following him around for 30 minutes, you know, you do tend to strike a good partnership. Um, that being said, in midfield, you get on with the strikers and the centre half as much as possible. Um, he hears me moaning at him every five <laughs> minutes. So I don't say we don't get on. <laughs> <laughs> for the 90, yeah, there probably isn't as many good relationships, but, you know, it's um, some people you're just amicable with, you know what I mean? It's a business relationship, but... You know, you just got to work on it and keep pushing. As Rizzo said, we're a new side, so these things don't happen overnight. Well, fan base obviously have, have, have been known to say, what was that noise again? Oh, that was uh, Lakey shouting quality again at everybody, or uh, we need a bit more quality in here. So yeah. it, it is a, that's part of being a central midfielder, isn't it? Being that yeah. vocal connection. Because he, he's almost your eyes and ears as captain further up the field as well, isn't he? Yeah, of course he is. Yeah, and I think like moving forwards again, you know, we've got a team where we say about captains, we've got a lot of captains on the pitch. Um, and like I say, moving forwards, I think that's only going to benefit us. Yeah. Uh, we have got a good dressing room. Uh, we've got a lot of experience in there. And we've got some kind of raw young talent as well. Yeah. Um, so together, you know, that's what's going to hopefully push us on. So we talked about um, competition for places at centre-half. It is the same for central midfield as well. Because uh, not only have we got uh, you and Mac, there's also people like Joe Gascoigne and other players that could fit in yeah. and, and, and play that central role or that holding role or that box-to-box -box sort of role as well. So... Do you find it's good having all that extra competition? Because all the players you can play in the middle of the park, you all have different attributes, different yeah. qualities, don't you? So depending on the opposition, the manager might you know, want to go one way or the other. Do you think that's a good thing, having that sort of level of competition in your position as well? Yeah, I would say so. I think good 11s don't win leagues. You need a good 15 and you need four players that are prepared to step in at a minute's notice. Um, midfield like triangles change all the time depending on who you're playing. You might have two sitters, you might have two attacking midfielders one week, you might find yourself out of the team for a stretch of games. It is what it is, you know. Yeah. We're all here to hopefully aspire to win a league title and achieve things and the hardest thing is to get people to realise that that might not involve you on a Woodbridge away, but yeah. what it will do is it might involve you in a cup game where it's essential. Yeah. Um, but the commodity and like the the team building and like you said, we've got a good group of lads that all understand roles and how football is played. Um, but it's our job to give the manager a hard time, isn't it? Like yeah, exactly. make his decision difficult. If I can put in the performances on the pitch, then hopefully I'm not put in a situation yeah. where I'm not, not needed. But again, if I'm not cutting the, like I'm not playing well, then um, mm -hmm. I'm making this decision easy for him, so. Yeah. So it's the, the the idea of everything is to make Toasty's life as hard as possible. I think we can all agree on that. Yeah. <laughs> like we don't mind so. doing that. Yeah. <laughs> We've done it for a fair few yeah, years, to be have. fair. <laughs> so that leads us nicely on, actually. So we were going to talk next. I was going to ask next about um, your playing history. So we've seen you a couple of times last year and, and you, you played at Thetford, didn't you, last year as well? So we'll start with you, Chris. 
Um, obviously, you played at Roxham. Were you the captain at Roxham as well? Uh, no. Oh, okay. No. The odd game I was, but not. Okay, so um, obviously last year at Roxham um, and your playing history leading up to that? Uh, so obviously went, met Tosa at like 13, 14, did PB, um, had a little spell at Peterborough, which was through PB, um, then went on to Deza, played for the Deer and Resies, they had one, one appearance of the first team, which was under Matt uh, Herman, then moved to Lincoln for uni, played for Sleaford, which was step five, um, up kind of Midlands way, which you're familiar with last year. Um, obviously a very different league to this one. Uh, then came back after, after uni, um, played at Roxham for five years. Um, and yeah, now, now I'm here. Okay. And uh, Lakey? Yeah, similar really. Um, came to Deza, had one appearance of the first team, <laughs> and then uh, went to America. Yeah. Played out there for four years, had a great time. Um, came back, had a little spell at Newmarket, then went to Thetford. Mm -hmm. And then obviously when the phone calls, and get the opportunity to come back here. It's hard to say no. It caused quite a lot as well. Yeah. <laughs> That's a good thing about doing these interviews as well, because only, only probably the most um, uh, loyal supporter would, would have recognised you from playing at Dero yeah. and being at, at Dessa and PB and all that sort of thing. So it's good that people get to know that you do have links. Yeah, there's, a, the there's a clear pathway, definitely, through mm. PB, Dessa and, and the yeah. first team, for sure. So uh, that also leads us nicely on to why you chose Dero. So obviously, history aside, you been at this club before. What what made you want to leave Roxham despite the fact that you got beaten by Durham twice last year? So what made you want to leave Roxham and, and come to Durham? <laughs> if you can't beat him, join him. <laughs> <laughs> no, um, obviously, um, you know, Durham is, is a place where I kind of all started. Yeah. Um, you know, I always kind of thought about coming back. Obviously, I do have a relationship as much as I don't want to admit it with Toasty. Mm -hmm. um, so, you know, when he was, when he did call sort of, Three, four, five, six times. <laughs> uh, it's quite hard to ignore it. Um, obviously, he kind of uh, sort of told me what his intentions were with the club. Mm -hmm. um, you know, it, Deerham's always been a team that has been in step four. Mm -hmm. So seeing it in step five isn't really right. It doesn't really sit right with me, yeah. um, especially from kind of growing up through Deerham. Um, so, yeah, it was a, kind of the right time to kind of come here and get this club where it should be. Yeah. Um, and that's not step five. Okay, brilliant. So, and was, yeah. was it similar for you, Jordy? Or yeah, it really is. I mean, we're probably the worst two people to interview together because yeah. we're the same <laughs> answers for everything. But um, yeah, I mean, I had a good season last year. Um, obviously, played my, my youth football here, so it's a it's a club I feel comfortable at. It's a club I enjoy. Got a relationship with the manager, and again, when he does call multiple times, and it's it's hard to say no to him. And then when you watch what happened last year at the club, it's even as a fan, someone that's played a lot of football here, it's hard to from an outsider's point of view, watch that happen and unfold. Yeah. Um, and yeah, I was probably, I was probably on my way out of football last year, to be honest with you. Just bored, uh, you grow up, have things to do on a Saturday instead. And then you get the call from someone you trust, someone that tells you he can, I don't know, bring joy back. And to be honest, I've had a great time so far this season, really enjoying it. And you don't get the opportunity to play with so many good mates that you grew up with, like Rizzo, Charlie and mm -hmm. everyone else. So it was a, a no brainer really. So we, 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 you mentioned relationships and how they're important are on the pitch. Yeah. But, um, and, and I know you know a lot of the players. You just said you knew Charlie and a few others and each other mm -hmm. uh, coming into it. But essentially, it's the first time we played as this group to, all together. Mm -hmm. How have you found the, you know, the, uh, have you found it easy to integrate yourself into this group? And how's the camaraderie and how's the changing room? Because we've heard a lot of positive things from the other guys. Which oh, yeah, the changing room is quality, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, it's real good. Like social sec over here that pulls things together. <laughs> Um, but yeah, like, like Blakey mentioned earlier, like that's really important. Um, getting a good team together um, is one thing, but actually kind of outside of, of, of the club, um, doing events, socials, things like that, it's only going to put us stronger. Um, I think the benefit is obviously we've got lads that have played together, that have come kind of as a group. Um, we all kind of know of each other. We've had potentially the odd you know, playing time with those players. Uh, so yeah, I think gelling as a squad is, is going to take time. But obviously doing those, you know, the karaoke in the bar, the wheel, yeah. like they are all things that are going to help to kind of gel us together. Yeah. Um, and I think we'll, we'll benefit from that kind of midway and later on in the season as well. well it certainly seems to be. Everyone's uptake, when you've been in social sec as well, the, the, you know, the feedback you've had from the supporters and yeah. the amount of people that are in attendance, it's obviously working, isn't it? Yeah. Um, so it's good to hear that you knew a lot of the players coming into it because you know, if people who just follow the club casually or only follow it on Twitter and come to the odd game would have seen that you came from Thetford thinking that you obviously 
that's where you've played all your football before. Um, but likewise, was it an easy decision? How have you integrated into the team? Yeah, it's, it's been real smooth, to be honest with you. Um, once you know the manager, you know Charlie, Riz, you knew the Norwich United boys just through playing with them. We all live in Norwich. It's, it's, we live in tight circles, don't we? So um, everyone knows everyone. Everyone's a good lad. And we've been pretty... Um, positive in terms of like trying to get out, do social events, um, breaking down barriers that you tend to see when a new form, a team forms, sorry. Um, so things like karaoke in the bar, um, we are running out of that. So if anyone wants to do karaoke, <laughs> get up there. But um, yeah, you know, when I, when I joined, the manager said to me, we need someone that's going to integrate socially with the fans and yeah. build connections. And I, it's just a role I tend to find myself given everywhere I go. So um, <laughs> Yeah, he gets the money, I spend the money. So. <laughs> well, you, you um, after the first game, I think, you, you came down into town, didn't you, with, with all the yeah. supporters, and, and you had a go at neck and pints, so it didn't go great for you. <laughs> <laughs> it's not true. That's, uh, that's an important part, though, isn't it? Yeah. The relationship with the fans, like, the fans are, you know, one of the most important things. Yeah. Um, and, you know, the more, the more that turn up, the more that sing, like, yeah. it does have a massive impact when you're playing, especially if, like, for one nil down, for example, having them keeping us going yeah. it's almost having an extra an extra player on the pitch does give us a boost yeah and and, and and speaking as a supporter not only are we enjoying the match day experience as well we're also enjoying you know seeing you guys enjoying pl playing together as well because it, it does it, it it comes across when you're watching it it's you're not 11 strangers you know no. you can, even though you've come from probably five or six different clubs from last year it, it doesn't look like this is 11 strangers coming together because you often see in all football, when uh, a manager comes in and puts a, his own squad together, you, you have that that sort of settling in period, don't you? But we we appear to have skipped that, and, and which is which is a really positive yeah. thing. I think that comes from the recruitment, though. Um, kind of speaking to Tosi a lot in pre-season, it was about getting the right players, um, and you know, like you alluded to it already about you know we've got good personalities in the in the dressing room. Um, there's no one that really sticks out. Um, as someone that doesn't fit the mould of what we're creating in here, um, and you know that's that's evident as you as you say on the pitch as well. Yeah. So season so far, then I know we're only what was it nine league games and a couple of cup games in. How do you think it has gone so far? I don't mind that one. Uh, you can go first. I'll go first. <laughs> um, you know, I think it's it's naive to say we're going to start the season as eleven new players mm -hmm. and win every single game. Yeah. Um, so I think really we're, we're where we thought we were going to be. Mm -hmm. um, as long as we stay in touching distance of the top, I know for a fact that we're only going to get better as the season goes on. Yeah. Um, and, you know, if, if we're, we're down as the chasers, then that's fine. We'll, we'll accept that. Mm -hmm. But like I say, we're only, I mean, I don't think anyone's played more than 10 games yet. So it's still really early doors. Yeah. Um, you know, some clubs do start well, but they start to tail off based on last year. Um, but, you know, as long as we keep striving and we keep, um, getting in wins week in week out will will make that gap up quite easily I think. And again, do you agree with Chris again? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> gonna, you go first. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I mean, like Chris said, it was a new squad, and you have to stabilise expectations with a new squad. It's easy to look at signings and get really really excited and think we've got this player, we've got this player, this player. Um, but you know, it's we're ten games in. You can't tell anything from 10 games in. Yeah. It's a 40-game season for a reason. Um, we've had a couple losses. Um, the losses hurt, don't get me wrong. We've had a, a plenty of good wins now. We've got two good tests coming up where yeah. I feel like it's, a, it's the first time in the, like, in the early stage of the season where we're going to be asked a question. We've got Lake and Heath today, Thetford on Tuesday. Tuesday. And you walk out of that with six points, then it's looking really positive. Yeah. So, and that's the goal always, to win every game. And... And keep momentum up as well. Yeah, big so time. Obviously, obviously, the last game away at Kirkley was good win, really good win, and and it seemed like a foundation to build on, didn't yeah. it? You know, new players coming in, uh, different players tried in different positions, and all yeah. really worked. Everything seemed to click, and it it felt like from the fan base, it felt like yeah. a good foundation to build some momentum on, as well. Yeah, definitely. So mm. talking about successes and and goal scoring, this is only a question for you because you you're the only one out the two who scored a goal this season. <laughs> <laughs> So we talked to Mac G and Cam and a few others about goal celebrations. You scored that penalty against Sheringham and then just ran off into midfield. Have yeah. you got have you, have you got anything planned for the, the next handful of goals you score this season? I've, I should have scored at Fakenham as well. That, <laughs> yeah. that one still hurts. Um, no, I have been in discussions with a certain couple of players and we've talked about a cello or two. So I've got something up my sleeve. Um, 
might be a while before you see it, but <laughs> <laughs> I've got something planned. Um, so, yeah, I mean, oh, I, I couldn't care less if I sc don't score as long as we win games of football, you know, <laughs> if I score is nice, but I guess if, if we keep a clean sheet every week, we probably win every game of football. So, yeah, yeah. when you've got exciting players like Sweeney, Reese Logan, yeah. um, Buttle, Campbell, Spooner, like all these ch top strikers, for us, our job is simple, isn't it? Like, mm -hmm. yeah. stop the balls going in the goal and let them do yeah. what they do, do their best. Thing. Then it's up yeah. to them. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, exactly. But hopefully, we do see a few more goals. Have you got a goal celebration in mind as well? Or uh, yours, I, yours I, will probably cover a set piece. So you'll probably uh, be charging towards the fans anyway, wouldn't you? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> It'll probably be something fan orientated for sure. Yeah. yeah. When it eventually comes. Okay, definitely. Looking forward to it. Hopefully, you get a hat trick then. Yeah, you'll we'll do crowd that. dives and all sorts, <laughs> won't you? I could do anything. Who knows? <laughs> and going back to the, um, uh, you know, the, the match day experience that we've talked about. Obviously, social secretary as well. Mm -hmm. Something we've never had at Deerham, yeah. a, a player stepping up and doing that. Um, people, who, is it something you like doing? Is it something you volunteered to do? Um, it's a job I get given. I've never signed yeah. myself up for it. Um, <laughs> I come from like a cricket background and obviously going yeah, to... I saw you edge um, didn't I? Yeah, you yeah, did. Yeah. So I um, come from a cricket background and that's that's almost a drinking club that plays cricket. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, you know, I've, I've, always, yeah, <laughs> I've always fulfilled that role. And, um, you know, f for me, I said this to the gaffer a couple of weeks ago, I'd rather lose with the right players than win with players I don't like. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? Um, I haven't ever been in a situation like that, fortunately, because I wouldn't put myself in it. But... That being said, I enjoy the company, I enjoy the fans, I enjoy after match day getting up there, having a sing song. Yeah. And that's why I play sport. That's the whole like groundwork, that's the bare minimum of why I turn it's up. It's the total every package, week. isn't it? It's all yeah. part of the it's all part of the experience. And it, 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 it does wonders for the club, doesn't it? The more it people does. you have enjoying a sing song, the more money gets put behind the bar. Yeah. We've got Camden Hells now. That <laughs> weren't there last year, was it? No, no. So, you know, it's it's, it's all advantageous. So it, it works for me, it makes my day better. So Good. And you've had a song, uh, you've sung a song yourself as well. I have sung you? a song, yeah. And you, you sung two songs. I had to do two. And, yeah. and one of them was a cappella as well, wasn't it? It was, yeah. Without any music, just got straight up there. It's the wheel. Not messing around. It must, it must make social secretary easy when you've got people who just sing up, grab the mic and just... <laughs> and especially how talented they are. Yeah. <laughs> I've never been called that. That's not referring to We me. have had some good singers out, out of the group so singers. far, haven't we? Hmm. I don't know. We should do a poll, see who the fans thought was the best one. Or did we? We've done that, didn't we? Uh, yeah, Campbell we wait till everyone's done every, all, all of yeah. them. I think oh, I think Mac G is generally the, the one. The, yeah, that Mac James Brown song. song. We'll circle back round after Christmas. We'll, <laughs> yeah. we'll, we'll do another. Maybe do some Christmas songs or something. Uh, <laughs> so that, uh, that's the end of the football questions for you. So do each of you have a, a message you want to give the fans? Go on, you can go first this time, Jordy. Um, not so much a message. Just the thanks for turning up every week. Um, we do appreciate everything you do. Um, from my point of view, as social sec, I'm going to try to keep things rolling off the field as well as I am on the field. Um, yeah, just keep supporting us. We've got two massive games coming up, so we need you as much as you need us. And yeah, let's just crack on as a pair. Yeah, copy that and what I said What I said earlier, just like I say, it makes a massive difference um, when you've got that noise um, and you've got those, those fans cheering us on. Yeah. Um, it does make a difference, so carry on. And even your dad came down and enjoyed exactly, the, yeah. an away game with us. As he well, loved didn't it, he? yeah, so, absolutely loved it. <laughs> yeah, so we got him into the bar and got, and got, and got him involved yeah, he, and everything. He, he so did he's mention, on the coach to wear and everything. He mentioned and there was a lot of drink flowing, which yeah, I don't think he had a problem yeah. with. <laughs> oh, the coach, the coach to wear was a good day. Yeah, there, he, back, wasn't he it? enjoyed that for sure. Okay, excellent. <laughs> so that's the end of the interview. Hopefully, you'll be glad to hear. Um, we're now moving on to the, the business end, which is mm. the manager's questions and the quiz. Yeah. So, um, should we do the quiz first? And yeah. who wants to go first? I'll go first, go on then. Okay. <laughs> so I, I spoke to you a little bit both before, so you both are quite competitive here, aren't you? Oh no, actually, you just said you don't want to lose, didn't I'll you? I'll take mid-table. Yeah. 100%. <laughs> I'll take that now. All right. I'll just put All that right. down. So you go first. Yeah, I'll go first. Okay. okay. All the best. These were colour-coded, but I can't remember what one's easy and what one's hard. blue one, that okay. looks like. Last one. You chuck it here. Oh, sorry. Yeah. Oh, well, yeah. Yeah. Gonna... We well, can pick yours out now as well and have it ready. You've got pink written all over you, ain't you? Do you reckon? I don't know, I'm trying to work out the colour. Yeah. Colour. <laughs> so I went for like is a, it dark or is it light? Soft go blue. Mid. Yeah, right. I'm going to go mid. Okay, Great. you just hold on to that for a sec then. <clears throat> okay, so I'll get a stopwatch going. So, Geordie Lake going first. Has 30 seconds. Unbelievably, if you don't win this, 
You have got, <laughs> you've got 30 hand. seconds to name this season's Thurlow Nunn Premier League clubs, the teams are playing in, in this league. I'm not too confident. <laughs> <laughs> Do you want to swap? Attleborough Town, Wyndham. <laughs> I don't even know why I've got this open. We should be able to uh, figure this out quite easy. You've um, got, you've got, got I won't give you any clues, but uh, don't make the same mistake. Can I say made. us? us well, we'll, we'll see how it goes. You've got 30 seconds. At least. All right. <laughs> All right. You ready? Yeah. Three, two, one, go. Deerham, Thetford, what? Ely, <laughs> Mildenhall, Hadley, Mulbarton, Halston. Woodbridge, Walshamley Willows, Brantham, um, Lake and Heath. Um, I've got to be winning at this point, surely. Um, <laughs> Ten well, seconds. I ain't got a clue. Um, it's, no, 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 they won the league last year. Two, <laughs> one. I'm dead, uh, man. I'm <laughs> Well, I think you got 11 or 12, but um, yeah, 12, I think you got That's there. Be so winning, isn't it? Second place on the easiest question. Second place? Who got the Pitcher got 14. You got the Premier League, didn't you? Oh. You're so close. Do you want me to read them all out yeah, so you yeah, know? Yeah, no, no. So you even missed the team you scored against as well. <laughs> <laughs> so there's Brantham. Oh, you, I can't remember what ones you said now, but Brantham, Deerham, <laughs> Downham, you didn't say Ely, Fakenham, Hadley, Heacham, Kirkley, Lake and Heath, Long Melford, Mildenhall, Newmarket, one of your old teams, did you say? Oh, that? no. Yeah. Uh, Norwich United, <laughs> although Norwich it's contentious yeah. whether we would have said that. Oh, no. uh, Thetford, did you say Thetford? Yeah, yeah you said Thetford. Walsham and Woodbridge, so. Got it, yeah. Not too bad. But you got, you got 12. Might be with second European football, in it? Yeah. Well, we don't do silver medals. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm hoping it's a light colour. It should that's be right. That's my thought. Well, I'll tell you now, the easiest ones are gone. Uh, I, don't know if that, I don't know if that's good or bad. Well, this isn't too bad, actually. So, uh, Chris Skipper has got 30 seconds to name as many SPL clubs as he can. Scottish Premier League. I've got five. Happy with that, you should get at least two. Campbell would have been good for that yeah, one, wouldn't he? Yeah, you got Dutch ones, I think. That must have been a nightmare for him. Yeah, but it was. I've got about five. <laughs> mid-table. Right. Five's mid-table, I'll take that. <coughs> okay, you, you can technically still win this there's enough clubs in there all right so if but you've got to get them all, I've got to get them all. <laughs> <laughs> all right okay ready three two one go so celtic rangers motherwell aberdeen hibernian oh that's five i'll take five now <laughs> um about halfway Ros uh so was that Ross County, is it? Yep. Six. Yeah. Um, Dundee. Dundee United. Mm, have you already said? Do they get Dundee? No. Two, oh, one. I'll, I'll take six. Mm, I'm happy with that, mid table. Six. Happy with six? Yeah, I'll take mid table, definitely. Okay, fair enough. Do you want to hear them all anyway? Yeah. Dundee United were in there, by the way. Dundee, yeah. Uh, oh. But uh, Aberdeen, Celtic, Dundee, Hearts, Hibs, Kilmarnock, Livingston, oh. Motherwell, Hearts, Rangers, Ross County, St. Johnson, and St. Mirren. A good effort, though. Yeah, I'll take that. I'll take Six. That. Yeah. It's easy to say that now. You've, yeah. Uh, <laughs> he got the easy one, didn't he? He got 12. <laughs> but that's it now. So, players <laughs> off. All you've you got to do is go and win a game of football now. There so, we go. Yeah, thanks absolutely. very much. That's uh, easy. Nice one. Taking part. Thank you for having Cheers. us. Cheers. Thank you. Cheers. Appreciate it. Cheers. Nice one.